Hi everyone, welcome, Yvette here. As a design team member for Lindy Stamp Gang, I want to share my witch's hat with you. I've made this hat out of a paper mache hat that I found over at Michael's and I've completely distressed it. I painted it black and I've used a few colors from Lindy Stamp Gang and they're just beautiful and I want to show you how they bounce off of this black paint. As you can see here, look at the way the light bounces off of that. It is just beautiful and I will have pictures at the end that will show you how these colors actually came out. I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up right now but it's just adorable. So let me get to the uh, few techniques that I've used here and I want to show you. So what I've done is I have taken paper and the paper collection is Ravenhead Manor and I believe that's last year's um, Halloween collection and I've taken it and I folded it into an accordion down here so what I did is I just took my Martha Stewart um, scoring board and I scored this part of it here and I sprayed it in grab a guy gold and it's right here it's just beautiful color and I've used that all over here as well um, and it gave it this beautiful sheen and coloration. I've added these cute little flowers that I got in a swap sometime, but I don't remember who sent them. So thank you so much. And I've taken these beautiful leaves and I've wrapped it around my hat as well. And I've taken some spiders and they're kind of crawling up on the side of the hat here. And it just goes all the way around the back. And then I have this wonderful ribbon right here and it has spider webs and spiders on it and again more of the cute little orange flowers and here what I've done is I've taken these beautiful flowers and I completely sprayed those down with Hagwarts orange and that's what that looks like it's beautiful it has this iridescence to it and it goes into oranges and yellows and very cute like iridescent um, blues and of course the camera's not necessarily picking it all up but it's just beautiful you guys and these flowers I picked up at the wedding section at Michael's and then I have this Karen Foster pin and on that pin I've added some beads down here and a bead finding right there in the, in the center and this cute little spider is also from Michael's and um, it was a pin and I've detached the back of the pin and it's from Bead Landing Halloween Spider Pin. So that's where you can get that. And then these beautiful rosettes I created using my scoreboard as well. And what I've taken is just six inches of the paper, or I took 12 inches and then I um, scored it and then I um, snipped that in half and then I, I did four of these in here. And I think it just turned out beautiful. You see that? And then here I've taken some trim, beautiful trim. And I don't remember where I got this, this one trim. Probably Joann's or something like that, or I could have gotten it in a rack. Honestly, I don't remember. But I've taken this trim, and I didn't have enough to go around the whole hat. So what I did was, of course, we improvise. So, like I was saying, I improvised and I've added some tool here in the back and it looks, it just looks fabulous. And here on the side, I've added some seam binding and what I did was I tucked in here to look like a bow and then it comes out on the side and it kind of falls to the side and I think it just turned out really cute. This project was a hoot to make, it was really, really cute. Um, I've added some bling here and these blings came in a package from H.O. Lee's bling uh, pack that I have and um, yeah trim and tool and it was pretty simple I mean black paint a lot of um, a lot of you know creasing with your bone folder and um, the beautiful colors that I used and I want to share those colors because this hat would not look this way if I had not used my Lindy's on it and let me show you so like I said earlier I used my Hagwarts orange and that's what that one looks like I used Cajun Carnelian Red. I also used Frolic in the Forest Black and that's how I got this super super cute sheen 
that you get the gold and the green iridescence going back here. And of course I used my Grab a Guy Gold. And that's what that one looks like. So try out the products. Go over to Lindy Stamp Gang and you can um, find all the products that I used there. Uh, try this project out. Come back. Show me what you did. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye.